This one's gonna be on a Python script called Simple Authn Server. So I wanted a uh, password protected uh, server uh, just for my local area network, just in case if someone, you know, puts in the um, the correct ports and they can log into uh, or they can connect to a uh, uh, server that I'm hosting. Uh, I want them to be prompted with a password because you know they're not supposed to be there and all that. Anyways, uh, the password is not very secure because I don't think it's encrypted or anything. Uh, so how do we set this up and how you use this script and everything? Real simple. This one is called simple often server.py here. And they give you a little usage here. So you do need a port, um, username, and password. So by default, uh, whatever folder you're at, or we're, we're in the download folder here, it's going to host that as your server, right? Um, so how do we do this here? Okay, so now we do port. Let's say I want to use port, um, let's say 61. No, actually 60, we'll do 321, right? And we want the username. We'll just put my name here, user and password. And you hit enter. And look at that. It's going to host it on your local area network here. So this one is port 6321. So we're going to do... There's a local host three two one. And look at that. Whenever someone tries to connect to here uh, without knowing the password, it will be prompted with the password. So we do type in a username here. All right. So now uh, we're logged in, and you can actually see, you know, all this content that we are hosting. So we're hosting what was that a uh, bunch of text files, a video file, and all that. Uh, so that's what you're hosting here. Now, if if uh, your directory has a was a index.html, it will actually hosts it like kind of like a website. So right now we're in our uh, downloads directory. We don't have any uh, you know HTML or anything that. So I'm gonna use uh, what's this one? I haven't made a video on this one yet, but raw dog. Uh, in this directory, we have a uh, what's that? index.html here and that uh it's going to be hosted like a website like i said right anyways uh how do we do this here so we do the same thing uh let's use another port since we already used that one and logged in we'll do three two how about that three two two okay so we do that here and now if we log into that port um we'll actually host that html file here all right, so we're typing our password. And now it's going to load up my RSS fees from Raw Dog. And so let's say, for example, I want to read my um, subreddits, right? Uh, command line stuff, uh, comics. All right, I can see the pictures and everything. And I can access this, you know, from uh, my phone, my laptop. Whatever it is that's connected to my um, my router, uh, I can use it or Wi-Fi. Um, so that's what uh, you can do with this, and it has a little password, you know, kind of safe if someone randomly types in uh, the correct ports and they connect to it, it'll still stop them with a username and password. Uh, but like I said, this is not very secure, so don't try to run this over uh, the actual internet. This one's just for your local network, all right? Anywho, that is the script. Pretty simple. It's kind of like the other one, the simple HTML, what was that? Simple HTTP server, but this one has a little password in it. Uh, so how do you set this up? Uh, so this is the script you can get. And this one uses Python 2, kind of very old. This one was back in 2013 here, all right? Um, so where's the script here? Simple. You do need to add the header, and also you need to have Python 2 install, of course. Uh, so all you do is add this header in the top here, in line 1 here, right? And that's how you should, uh, you know, have the script up and running. Make sure to give it executable permissions and all that. But that's how you use it, either in uh, the directory or a directory with a, uh, you know, index.html file, whatever. Anywho, that's it for setting up and usage.